Peep the cat's 12 groovy days of Christmas. By Kimberly and James Dean. I'm going to sing this one, I think. On the first day of Christmas, Pete gave to me a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the second day of Christmas, Pete gave to me two fuzzy gloves and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the third day of Christmas, Pete gave to me three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the fourth day of Christmas, Pete gave to me four far out surfboards, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the fifth day of Christmas, Pete gave to me five onion rings, four far out surfboards, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the sixth day of Christmas, Pete gave to me six skateboards rolling, five onion rings, four far out surfboards, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the seventh day of Christmas, Pete gave to me seven concert tickets, six skateboards rolling, five onion rings, four far out surfboards, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the eighth day of Christmas, Pete gave to me eight guitar strumming, seven concert tickets, six skateboards rolling, five onion rings, four far out surfboards, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the ninth day of Christmas, Pete gave to me nine ugly sweaters, eight guitar strumming, seven concert tickets, six skateboards rolling, five onion rings, four far out surfboards, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the 10th day of Christmas, Pete gave to me 10 sloths of sleeping, 9 ugly sweaters, 8 guitar strumming, 7 concert tickets, 6 skateboards rolling, 5 onion rings, 4 far out surfboards, 3 yummy cupcakes, 2 fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Wow, that bus is getting full. Groovy! On the 11th day of Christmas, Pete gave to me... What are we going to give him? 11 balls of bouncing, 10 sloths of sleeping, 9 ugly sweaters, 8 guitar strumming, 7 concert tickets, 6 skateboards rolling, 5 onion rings, 4 far out surf boards, three yummy cupcakes, two fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! On the twelfth day of Christmas, Pete gave to me 
12 friends are rocking, 11 balls are bouncing, 10 sloths are sleeping, 9 ugly sweaters, 8 guitar strumming, 7 concert tickets, 6 skateboards rolling, 5 onion rings, 4 far out surfboards, 3 yummy cupcakes, 2 fuzzy gloves, and a road trip to the sea. Groovy! I'd like to go to the sea for Christmas. Don't know if I will get to go this year, but it would be fun. I hope you enjoyed that one. I got one more. How Santa got his job. Hmm, this might be an interesting story. By Stephen Krinsky and illustrated by S.D. Schindler. When Santa Claus was a young man, he went out looking for a job. Santa wanted no part of desks or offices. He liked to stay on the move. His first job was cleaning chimneys. Santa was sure-footed and even on even the steepest roofs, and he loved twisting through the tight spaces. But there was a problem. Santa was so neat that he never got covered in soot or made a mess in the fireplace, so nobody believed him when he said he was done. Where's the proof, said some. You're not even dirty, said the others. This led to arguments. Santa worked for the post office next, where everyone could see that he was doing his job. Santa's favorite part was bringing packages to people all over town. Waiting in traffic was frustrating, though. It's silly to waste all this time, he decided. To speed things up, he started making deliveries in the middle of the night. But there was a problem. No one was glad to see, them at, see him at that hour. The postmaster got so many complaining letters, Santa had to leave. Since Santa had discovered he enjoyed staying up late, he tried cooking at an all-night diner. It felt good to fill orders for customers. Sometimes Santa even surprised people with extra helpings. Oh, I couldn't eat another bite, many of them insisted. Well, maybe just one. But there was a problem. Every night Santa tasted and sampled and tasted some more before he brought brought anything out of the kitchen and he gained a lot of weight. Hoping to get some exercise, Santa found a spot at the zoo. He was very organized about the animals. I know when they are sleeping, said Santa, and I know when they are awake. Over time, he also learned whether they were behaving themselves or not. But there was a problem. Santa became close friends with the reindeer and all the other animals got jealous. Sadly, the zookeeper had to let him go. Poor Santa. By now, Santa was starting to get discouraged. He didn't even notice what the reindeer were doing behind him. They worked hard to cheer him up. But there was a problem. The ringmaster wanted to build up. Oh, sorry. Together they joined the circus. Soon the reindeer was shooting Santa out of the cannon three times a night. Santa liked flying through the air and wearing his costume. He was a big success, but there was a problem. The ringmaster wanted to build up the suspense. You need to look frightened, he told Santa. We want the crowd to worry about you. But Santa was having too much fun for that. Ho, 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 he always cried as he flew through the air. So the crowd wasn't worried at all. I don't know if I'd like to be shot out of a cannon. Yikes. The angry ringmaster soon fired Santa and the reindeer. As they gathered their things, some elves came looking for autographs. When they heard the news, they invited Santa and the reindeer home for supper. 
The, the elves lived way out of town, and they were toy makers, and their house was their workshop. Santa was amazed. Children must love these toys, he said. The elves looked embarrassed. They only made toys for their own pleasure. Selling them was too much trouble. Well, what if you give them away, Santa asked. The elves hadn't thought of that. I could deliver them for you, Santa offered. There were enough toys for children all over the world. The elves smiled and hired him on the spot. The elves made Santa a special sack that was always big enough no matter how many toys were put in it. Then they built him a sleigh. The polar bears offered to pull it. They were very strong and whipped Santa across the snow. But there was a problem. And it was the biggest one yet. Yikes. I'd see noses in the water sticking out. <laughs> to Santa's surprise, this problem could be solved. Santa and the reindeer practiced together every day. They made a few mistakes at first, but soon they learned to work as a team. In the darkest part of winter, when people need their spirits lifted most, Santa got ready to go. As the elves said goodbye, they gave Santa an emergency kit. It held a compass, ski goggles, cough drops, and other things. Santa thanked them very much. All his jobs had taught him it was good to be prepared. Then Santa and his reindeer took off. That first night was a little hard because Santa was still learning about shortcuts and high winds. But at last, he got the hang of it. And ever since then, the elves have made toys all year. And Santa has given them away in one night. He loves his job as much as ever. And he's gotten pretty good at it over the years. Still, he always keeps his emergency kit close by. Because no job is perfect. Oh, look, he got hung up on the moon. <laughs> Yikes. Wonder if that's ever happened to him. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls, and I will see you next time.